I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show, your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. Kickstart, a Google coding competition, is back for the 2022 season. Participants work individually to solve a series of fun algorithmic and mathematical problems in each of eight rounds throughout the year, allowing you to jump in at any point in the season and participate in as many rounds as you'd like. The first official round is taking place on March 20th, and you can get practice in with the first coding practice with Kickstart session the week of February 14th. Head to the Kickstart page to learn more and sign up. Over in TensorFlow, we're launching two new highly optimized body segmentation models. The Blaze Pose Estimation model has additional support for segmentation, while the Selfie Segmentation is well suited for cases where someone is directly in front of a webcam on a video call, with higher accuracy across the upper body, but potentially less accuracy for the lower body. Both of these new models help enable a whole host of creative applications oriented around the human body that could drive next-generation web apps. To learn more, head over to the TensorFlow blog. Flutter released 2.10, which includes production support for Windows as an app target. Your app can not only use every part of the Flutter framework, it can also talk to the Win32, COM, and Windows Runtime APIs either directly through Dart C interop layer or using a platform plugin written in C++. You can use packages like Fluent UI and Flutter Acrylic to create an app that expresses the Microsoft Fluent design system beautifully. And using the MSIX tool, you can wrap your app in an installer that can be uploaded to the Microsoft Store on Windows. 2.10 also includes initial support for dirty region management, optimizations around picture recording and platform-specific enhancements, such as compressed pointers in iOS, the beginnings of Material 3 support with color schemes, automatic support for Android's multi-text, and a non-painting platform view for the web that removes much of the overhead from using a native HTML widget. 2.10 also includes improved tooling and platform handling from Dart 2.16. Learn more in the posts on Dart, Flutter, and Flutter for Windows. Google Cloud Next returns on October 11th through 13th, 2022. Expect keynotes from industry luminaries, deep dives into technologies and solutions spanning the Google Cloud and Google Workspace portfolios. Hear from the world's leading companies about their digital transformation journeys. You'll have opportunities to connect with experts, get inspired, and boost your skills. To learn more, head over to the Cloud Next and the Google Cloud blog. In Android, we discussed how Spool is using the high-performance Oboe API to improve recording quality and completion rates. With reduced audio latency with the Oboe API, singers can hear their voices in the headset as they perform with Smool's audio effects applied without an echo. The post has more on how Smool made this happen. Over in web development, the Chrome 99 beta is here, adding CSS cascade layers, a new picker for input elements, a new origin trial for dark mode support in web apps, completed origin trials for handwriting recognition and window controls overlay for installed desktop web apps, and more. CSS cascade layers enable more explicit control of your CSS files to prevent style specificity conflicts, which is particularly useful for large code bases, design systems, and when managing third-party styles and applications. Layering your CSS in a clear way prevents unexpected style overrides and promotes better CSS architecture. Head over to the Chrome 99 beta and cascade layers post for more detail. The Google Developer Student Club and 2022 Solution Challenge presented the Getting to Know Google Earth Engine event, exploring what Google Earth Engine is, how it can be used in science, research, and more, which could be a big help if you're participating in the 2022 Solution Challenge. You can watch a recording of the event by visiting the link. The Google Developers Indian News Show is back with a new episode. This week, there's information on Class 6 of Google for Startups Accelerator India, opportunities for students to join the 2022 Solution Challenge, Android Study Jams, and more. So head over to the Google Developers India YouTube channel for all the details. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Oh, doesn't work because my, my Wi-Fi is turned off. Dun, dun, dun.